Are you still there? I'm going to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Not much ambiguity there if you played the previous game. Absolutely has to be Gladys. The only other ca only character. On I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Yeah, it's cool. I'm sure she'll stay alive. She'll stay off. She'll never wake up in a game, in a portal game. They would never have Gladys in there. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. There's so much mass to this. I wonder if I can identify this place really... So you got the central structure that would have been hanging up in the sky. Yeah, this, yep, this place is domed. You can see more of the structure in the middle there. This is the dome where we would have been fighting her. Can I identify? That's obviously Gladys right there. It's her body, her head. Really brings together just how huge the, the model was for it too, being up close to it since it was kind of up in the air and you couldn't see it super close before. I want to see if I could identify the... Uh, the core disposal chambers, the pods. I don't really see one right now. It's this is a case of irony, of course, where Wheatley doesn't identify the fact that he's literally talking to the person who did the thing. He said, that's a core disposal pod. Is that what I'm going to use? No? Okay, down these stairs. Jump! It's actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? That's fine. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Yep. So, multiple uh, occasions of re reinforcing the fact that I don't take fall damage in this game. One of them was the fact that like they, they force you to fall when you first try to get the gravity gun, which is like a forced tutorial. That's like that's teaching people through gameplay right there. Like, by the way, you can fall however far. It's fine. Which is kind of a big deal, because if you we, if you didn't solve certain puzzles certain ways because you thought you couldn't fall, it'd be kind of a problem. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. It's all, it's all great. You're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. The important thing is that we've got each other, Wheatley. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Hello there. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. I was quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No, Man. don't don't say ominous. It's Commenters it's taught me that they don't like hearing the word ominous repeated too many times. Okay, okay. no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Um uh, Oh, there's a there's a password. Okay, it's fine, I'll just I'll just hack. It's not a problem. A A A A A Um Okay. A A A A A C Wait, did I do B to the jail pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't okay, 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 listen. Alright, new plan. Act natural, act natural, we've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monsters. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. 
I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. It's a really good thing that I can fall for however far. So I think I discovered in the course of that cutscene that Wheatley is my spirit animal. And we're gonna be best buds. It's all that like <laughs> just listening to him talk while he's trying while he has no idea what he's doing was amazing. <laughs> Also, great line of dialogue there. We've both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. Oh. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. And here it comes the surprise that Gladys's great revenge on us is that she wants to test us like in the first game which is a weird behavior for a villain she's even giving us the the portal gun which we inev is inevitably basically an effective weapon that we will can use against anybody including her like last time does she think she can beat us this time? Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Is, up, up, up. That was a loud noise. Is there such thing as in front of you? Ah, just like old times. <laughs> I, don't think ta I don't think tables can really be in front of you. That's Chamber 19. Does that make that technically the entrance to Chamber 19? Oh my god, it is. It is! These are the two, these are the two 45 degree angle walls where the, the, the energy balls would bounce off of. And when you finally solve this chamber, you would then go on this thing. This, this would be, there'd be a moving platform you could take around here. And it'd roll up around here. And then go in this direction that you couldn't really make out that well from here, or something like that. Or maybe even went past that. And it went into, into the incinerator. That's... You will be burned, and then there will be cake. That's the, uh... That's the, that's the, that's the final challenge before things go off the rails and you break free and start fighting back. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that... Who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. <laughs> Talking about... Oops, can I go in here? No, I can't. Talking about uh, testing us until we're dead, and then the, the little subtle hint of the idea that she just wants to bring us back to life at that point to start the process all over again. So the fate that, be, that is waiting for us is just infinite testing forever. Not only for the rest of our lives, but potentially, if she can figure it out, afterlife. But uh, she may not be able to figure that out. And she may not even think she can figure that out. It's probably just a joke on her part. But, the, but there's still just that little bit of a threat. Chapter 2 of the Cold Boot. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. 
Surprise! Lasers! What a mess. Well, it certainly made the rooms more visually dynamic when they started looking like this. Instead of just a square room. But, uh... Hazards abound, obviously. Where are the lasers exactly? Oh, there it is. Hi. James Bond laser we got here. Ta-da! Ah, right. Gonna have to get on that lift first. And then, bloop! I got gotcha. you. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Love that HK-47 moment of, like, sarcasm. Condescending reaction and stuff like that. That was a great little machine character that had to preface all their statements with the emotional state of their statement because they couldn't express emotions in their voice. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. What do we have? Hello. What a weird sight when you're coming in. Little reminder of how to jump. Also figured out how to zoom, which is just the uh, mouse wheel. Hip. Would have been embarrassing if I hit burn myself immediately. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, the poor deer. Oh, the poor deer. Whoops. She doesn't seem to care about the cameras anymore, does she? Hello. Oh. Forgot to move enough. There we go. Ah. Aha. I see. You could politely just go on down there. There you go. That'll pop you out. Oh, it landed directly in front of the laser. And this thing drops one from here? Okay, we don't need that right now. Hello. You're new. Let's right you, and boom. Straightforward enough. Just don't go stepping on lasers and you're golden. And if you do step on lasers, then you're scabby. Ah. That does pose a problem. I need something to be on that or we're in trouble. Aha. I'm already up here, and... See, the trick here is only the floor is portable, which means that you need to get to the floor first. But then you can grab the cube and use it as a cube. And also, hopefully, be smart enough to walk after you go through a portal so you don't fall back into it. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Well, it's a good thing we caught it. It's like when you go to the doctor and they just find out you have cancer when you just, you know, like wanted to go for a jog on a treadmill and get loose some blood. Not even for testing reasons, you just wanted to look her some blood. It was it's heavy. Don't let oh. that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. So it says three out of twenty-two, which is interesting because last time there was only uh, 19 in the entire game. I don't think there's 22 in the entire game this time, though. I think that's just a section. Physics! Physics that mostly works, too. A lot of games would lose their damn minds if this kind of thing happened. That's the nice thing about the Source engine, as far as I can tell. Or at least the Source engine, it, when it's used by Valve, is it seems that the physics doesn't flip out. It's not necessarily 100% realistic forever, but at least the physics in these games seems to always, like, respond reasonably. Like, that thing bouncing up, like, none of those individual particles went fly- like, super- like, none of them started spinning like a helicopter and flew up into the wall or anything, like they do in a lot of video games. Where it's like, the, high, the physics goes so super exaggerated on certain particles because they don't know how to handle it. That's a surprisingly common element. So I can shine this laser into that, and that would power that side. And this laser needs to go into that? Oh, I see. Portal. Gotcha. Huh? Wow, I made the jump. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. 
I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Yep, she's even calling me fat, but in in like shockingly articulate ways that make them hurt more. <laughs> Her insults are so carefully written. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Uh, I believe that is contemplating destroying this facility. Hello. The funny thing is she could kill me so easily. She just needs to drop me into that nasty goo. It's like that's the nightmare toxic waste pit or something, the acid. She could kill me so many times so easily, all she has to do is just try. But instead, testing time. Good thing I didn't stand in front of that. I didn't really plan it that well. That could have gone poorly for me. <laughs> that made you go over there, cool. Fortunately, I'm not over there, which as you might imagine is a problem. So let's get the portals reset so that I don't shoot myself with a laser first. Just to be sure. I see. So one of these lasers has to be one of these has to be pre-located. So blue is gonna be what shoots the laser. But I have to do it from here or we're in trouble. What does this do? Oh, don't hit me in the head. Please, thank you. Okay. And now I can shoot you here. Cool. Come to me. By the way, keep an eye out for these companion cubes. Or not this isn't a companion cube companion cube, but uh only the companion cube is the companion cube is only the one with the heart, right? So there's just a cube, weighted cube. Oh, hello. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator, and we'll continue the testing. Eh. She said waddle because she's still calling me fat. She's building on her previous insults. But uh, keep an eye out for these guys, because I've, I've noticed some of them in the background already. I haven't really pointed it out yet, I don't think. But I have noticed that as a uh, performance saving measure, what they've done is they've made super low poly versions of these. So when you see a bunch of these filling uh, one of those transport tubes, like that guy up there, you'll notice that they, they're really flat. They These four corners will stand out, but the everything else in the middle, like this whole, like this plus sign shaped area we're looking at here, is completely flat. So it's like a super low poly. No, that's it's not the one I'm looking at right now, but it's these ones right here. If you ever see them stop moving, like the ones we've seen piled up sometimes, then you'll see that. But not now. Let's keep an eye out. By the way, when I point stuff like that uh, like that out, I'm not trying to rip on the game. I'm just like noticing things. I like to notice things. Sometimes it's the thing that there is to talk about. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's a man cannon. Oh, oh! It got fired into the back of the truck, and then it landed on the arrow because it didn't make it into the kit truck correctly. And then the that reveal, then there's the surprise reveal that the arrow itself is a ribbon that has physics and not a just an infographic. So it's like it's a failed launch. That's visual comedy right there. The surprise that the interface elements actually secretly real. There they are. That's what I'm talking about. No, look at it. Oh. Whoa, weird. They went through the wall. So that was a little hard to see, but if you if you got a chance to glimpse, glimpse at that, then you'll, you would have seen what I, I this next was test talking about. the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. <laughs> the secret reveals that this is a terrible idea. Uh, hi. Oh, it's a good thing that closed. What do you do? It makes something fall from... Oh, there it is. I see. Oh, you're gonna bounce infinitely, huh? I see your game. Aha! Got you. They're even nice enough to get us these little targets so you know exactly where things are gonna land. Is that the whole puzzle? Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. 
That doesn't make sense. You can't freshen up carbon dioxide unless they're unless she's saying she's turning it into oxygen, which is then real air. I guess she just doesn't mean you're not breathing air from the outside, but that's not really that's that's like it's kind of like being stuck in a plane, I guess, right? Wait, do planes recycle air or do they get air from outside? Now I'm thinking about other things and this is going to get too hard. Moving on.